A while ago, a video popped up in I recommended. A five block jump in Minecraft. Needless to say, I was stunned. How? Afterwards, a YouTuber named Dream created a video that concluded with him saying that maybe, if you sprint jump for long enough, you could jump six blocks, and maybe even seven. So I set out to find, with the power of physics, how many jumps would it take to jump six blocks? The first step was to check to see if there was any correlation between sprint jumps and distance. So I loaded up Minecraft in the latest snapshot 1.15 and began. At first, my method was very trivial. I began sprinting certain distances, jumping for as long as possible. And very soon, as you may realize, I realized that this wasn't going to work at all. I didn't know when I was jumping or where I was landing or even how many jumps per block length. And plus, I didn't want to be jumping for eons and measure that distance. No, there had to be an easier way. And there was. I set up a 50 block long platform and began to take and began running with my coordinates on. At first, I took one jump, then two, then three. Each round, I would take one more jump, then play back the footage and go frame by frame to see how far I got from each jump. And it was working. With 3 jumps and 4 jumps, I displaced 4.43 blocks, and with 5 to 10, I consistently displaced about 4.323 blocks, so obviously, there had to be a correlation. However, I was going downwards, and as such, I wasn't jumping in a straight line with a wide displacement of 0, which would affect my overall distance, so I set up a physics equation. At the time, I was learning kinematics and physics class, and projectile motion was exactly what I needed to solve this problem. This is the equation for projectile motion. I'll spare you the details, but with Minecraft's canon gravitational constant of 32 meters per second squared, found in the Minecraft wiki, I was set. Or was I? Because now, I had the y velocity, the velocity up and down. But this didn't help, because if I wanted to know my x velocity, the actual speed caused by the sprint jumps, I needed to find the angle of the jump, and there was no way to measure this because of the fact that Minecraft characters jump at different angles every single time, so our speed of y wasn't going to help. At all. I was stuck. But what if I told you there was another way? You see, thinking about it as acceleration is flawed, because Minecraft characters, they don't speed up over time, they speed up over jumps, supposedly. So let's think about it as an arithmetic sequence where each jump adds some velocity to the original velocity. The, this is the formula for an arithmetic sequence where a n is the value of our term. n, uh, a1, sorry, is our initial value, so our initial Minecraft speed, which has a canon value of 5.6 meters per second on the Minecraft wiki. This is our difference in terms, d, which is what you want to solve for and n is the term we are at now. Because we do actually have a term 0, we will remove the negative 1, as it is irrelevant. Let's plug in what we know. And after some simple math, we get that a n equals 5.6 plus d times 40. But we have two unknowns, so what do we do now? Well, there are two simple ways to go about doing this. One, finding the difference by measuring a previous speed, or two, measuring the speed after getting 40 jumps. The second one is better, but it assumes that Minecraft characters don't speed up over time. If they don't, we can conclude that a n equals 5.612 meters per second. Small difference, but very noticeable. That's what I measured after jumping 40 blocks and playing it frame by frame to see how fast I go. You think that isn't changed? You think the Minecraft wiki rounded? And so did I. And luckily, we were both wrong. I measured a clip of not sprint jumping at all, just sprinting, and got a velocity of 5.608. Smaller. Small difference. But indeed smaller. Just in case, we will use our 5.608 as the canon velocity of a Minecraft player without sprint jumping. So now we can calculate, with this formula, plugging everything in, we get that per sprint jump, the increase in speed is 
zero one meters per second. This is remarkable, and a very nice number actually. But what does it mean? Well, using this speed, we can calculate the number of jumps that it would take to make a five block jump. 63,831 sprint jumps. That number is how many sprint jumps it would take to attain a velocity that allows you to jump six blocks in Minecraft. Considerably, this is a very small number. However, no one is going to jump 63,831 sprint times, sorry, just to see if they can jump six blocks. And while it would work, this is a wrong answer. Why? Well, look at that video again. Thirty times. That is how much it jumped. That is how much Uber whatever jumped and got five blocks. There is no feasible way, no explanation, to why five blocks would only take 30 jumps and six would take 63,000. There are three things that could have made this happen. One, Uber user made a joke. He used a speed modifier. Two, physics in Minecraft are weird and inconsistent. Or three, the answer lies elsewhere. In that third option, the other two might be true, but that third option, something we've never considered, could be the answer. Timing and pixel exact jumps. Could that be it? Could, with exact pixel measurements, could you jump five blocks? We're going to find that out in hopefully next Tuesday's video, but that's all the time I have for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. <laughs> Peace out.